As part of my commitment to open government and to change, I'm providing quarterly updates on our government's activities. I hope you'll send me a note on Facebook and let me know your thoughts and ideas. The period from June to September involved a lot of work reaching out to other provinces and states. As your Premier, I hosted Council of the Federation, a forum where Canada's Premiers get together to talk about the substantive issues that each of us faces. I'm chairing the group this year. And in addition to giving me a chance to talk about the changes we're bringing to government here in BC, two important things came out of the meeting. First, the Premiers agreed to join me on a trade mission to Asia, which will happen after my own sales mission to China and India next month. This is an example of how BC is leading Canada into those markets which provide such a great opportunity for the whole country. And second, we started work on the new Health Accord. It's a multi-year agreement to preserve and improve health care over the coming years. Provincial governments will be negotiating with our federal counterparts starting next year, and I'll be holding a follow-up meeting in BC in January. Getting this right is essential for BC families, and it's a task I look forward to accomplishing. This summer, I also traveled to Idaho to meet with the Western governors. It was an opportunity for me to talk with them about the most important issues they're facing, the economy and its impact on jobs. The U.S. is, as you know, going through a period of economic instability. And we need to stay on top of developments there in order to defend and create jobs here at home in B.C. The review of B.C. Hydro that I ordered shortly after taking office was completed. And in the spirit of open government, we released the entire report, even those parts that were not complementary to the government. The most important result was that rate hikes were cut in half for B.C. families. And I think that you can see that this is a change in approach we looked at things through a family lens and then made the tough decisions without delay. Now at the end of August, I decided that we would not be holding an election this fall. And I made the decision for two reasons. First, I listened to people like you. People from one end of BC to the other said, Christy, don't do it. Focus on bringing the changes you've got coming instead. And second, I was watching the escalating troubles in the Eurozone and the United States and decided the most important thing that we could do here was launch our BC Jobs Plan. We did that in September, and it's a plan that approaches the turmoil in the world with a commitment to being optimistic, to being unified, and to building on our strengths. The plan is called Canada Starts Here, because I believe this is our chance to lead the country. We face Asia, we have strong fiscal fundamentals, and the diversity of BC is a key asset in the global economy. The BC Jobs Plan is built on three pillars. First, it focuses on enabling job creation. This means making sure we have a common sense government that gets out of the way when we can and is focused on the end game, defending and creating jobs across BC. The second pillar is investing in smart infrastructure, and that means investing in our people as well as the ports, roads, bridges and airports that we need to get our goods to market. The third pillar is opening new markets for our BC products. And that's why I'm leading the trade mission to China and India, and why I'm making leading the sales effort for BC a crucial part of my own job. Now these three pillars stand on two foundations. First, we need to make sure that we're providing the right skills and education so people can get the jobs that are in demand. This will allow people to get good jobs close to home and keep families together, particularly in rural BC. Second, we need to stick to our guns on being fiscally responsible. Every day, I could make decisions to spend more and more of your money, but we just don't do it because our fiscal prudence is one of the things that makes our province so attractive to investors. To learn more about the BC Jobs Plan and to offer your ideas, please visit bcjobsplan.ca. I also hope you'll consider joining the discussion on my Facebook page so we can exchange ideas about the best ways to make BC better.